Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is my friends and being safe and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we have to sanitize so let us sing our special sanitizing song sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we will be talking about phonics number bonds and problem solving For our first exercise today, boys and girls, let's all turn to page six. On page six, we are going to be doing phonics. It's going to be our job to replace the beginning sounds to form a new word. Now, as you can see, they have given us some pictures for the word first. We have the words, let's read them together. Cat. Van map, net, big, cot. Well done everyone. So from these words we need to just change the beginning sound and I want to show you how that is done. Let's take a look at the word cat. Now the word cat we know starts with so we take our k and it's there, the word cat. So that means we cannot use k anymore. Now we need to find new words to make. How are we going to do this? By looking at our alphabet. So we're going to start with b and try and put b with the ending sound at. Let's see if it will work. B. At, bat, is that a word? Yes, it is. So we can put a b in front to make a new word, bat. And we cannot use it anymore because we've already used it. Let's try and go again. We have d. Let's try d. D, at, dat. Is that a word? <laughs> no, it's not. So we cannot use D. Let's try. We cannot use E eh because we already have a vowel A. Eh. Let's try F. F. At. Fat. Yes, fat is a word. So we can use F 
to make a new word fat. Good job, everyone. You are clever. Let's try g, at, get. No, that is not a word. Let's move on. At, hat. Yes, that is a word. So we're going to use to make a new word, hat. So this is how you can help yourself make new words. Take a good look at the alphabet and try each sound with the ending sound to make a new word. Remember, they only want you to replace the beginning sound, so you don't have to replace all the words, just the beginning sound. So take your time, go through all the letters of the alphabet for each of the words there, and make sure that it's a real word and not one that is made up. <laughs> Have fun, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our lesson now, boys and girls, let's start on page 7. On page 7, we are going to be doing number bonds. Now, the number bonds that we're going to be doing are the ones where we have to find the missing number. Now, the top number that you can see is the one that is the total. So, we have to find the other number that adds up to the one on top. We are going to do the first three together. This time, we're going to be using the number line to help us solve our number bonds. So, let's do the first one together. The first one says 15 and 6. And the number that is missing is the one that is next to 6. So, what we're going to do is count from 6 going to 15. I have a number line here as well, and I want you to also use yours. So take your finger, and you're going to use your finger to hop from one number to another. We're going to start at 6, and remember, we need to get to 15. Let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. So our answer is nine. Now for the next one, we have 17 and six again. So this time, what we need to do is make sure we get from six to 17. We are at six again and we're going to hop. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So our answer, boys and girls, is eleven. Then for the last one, we're going to start at three and hop all the way to eleven. Let's start at three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer is eight. So use the number line, boys and girls, to help you find your answers. And remember to check carefully where you're starting. So the minute you hop the first time, that is one. When you're done with your number bonds, you can move on to the next page, page 8. On page 8, we're going to be doing story sums. Now, the problem-solving sums that you can see all have pictures to help us. We're going to do the last one. And remember, when we start, we need to read it twice so that we understand what the problem is. And then we need to pick out our numbers. After that, we need to count in order for us to find our answer. Number four says, I see seven people. Five people walked away. 
How many people are left? I see seven people. Five people walked away. How many people are left? So we can see that in this story sum, we have five, seven people. The same that I have on the board. So we need to start by actually putting our people in order. Let's take a look at the board and see how we can do that. So the first number that we need to put in the box is the number of people altogether. I want you to count your people and I will also count my people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know that there are seven people. That is the first number that is going to go in the box, seven. Then the story sum says that five people walked away. So you need to cancel five people. I'd like you to take your pencil and you cancel the five people. One, two, three, four, five. So five people walked away. That is the same number that we have to write in the second box, five. Now, our job is to find out how many people are left. So we need to count how many people are left. One, two. Two people are left, which means that if we say five, seven five, minus five, will give us two. So our answer is two people are left. So take your time with the story sums, boys and girls. If you need help reading the story sum, that's okay too. Make sure that you get your help and then after that you do it by yourselves. Don't forget to cross out whatever you need to on the pictures. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> For our next part, we are going to now move on to page 9. On page 9 for our lesson today, we are going to be revising our phonics. Now, each of the pictures we can see has a beginning sound. That is the one that we have to fill in on the line. We can see that we have six pictures. We have a girl. Egg. Mop, orange, hat, fan. It's our job to choose the correct beginning sound from the ones we have been given. So let us take a look. We're going to do the first three together. The first one that we have is a girl. Now the girl starts with a G, girl. So, which of these letters is a G? If you said that this is the G, well done. So, we are not going to write the word girl, just the beginning sound, which is the G. Take your time when you're writing the sound and make sure that you are on the line. The next one that we can see is an egg. Egg. Which sound makes our beginning sound for the word egg? If you said it is this one, well done! That is E for egg. 
So we are going to write the beginning sound. Take your time when you're writing the letters, boys and girls, and make sure that it is on the line. The next one that we're going to do is the mop. Mop. Which of these letters gives us the beginning sound for the word mop? If you said it was mm, mm, well done. Mm, for mop. The rest of the exercise you're going to do by yourself. Make sure that you use the letters that we have been given for the beginning sounds. Take your time and if you're not sure, say the word slowly so that you can hear the beginning sound and then choose the correct letter. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Just make sure that when you are confused or you don't know what to do, you ask an adult for help. Please though, make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, we can sanitize. Sanitizing is not just for little children, it's also for adults as well. So if you have a parent or a guardian with you, when you're sanitizing, encourage them to sanitize as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi said he was going to come and say goodbye, but I haven't seen him the whole time. Have you? Sashi? Oh, hello, Sashi. We want to say goodbye to our friends. Do you think you can help me? Oh, wow. Well done. Okay. Let us sing goodbye. 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 It's time to say goodbye. 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 It's time to say goodbye. Bye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.